All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Stone Block 3 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Oh my goodness, guys. It's been a lot of fun. So we have been actually playing a lot of Stone Block 3 in uh, live streams. We have a separate world over there. and We've made some pretty good progress. So hopefully that correlates over here. We make some pretty quick progress for you guys. Um, but yes, we have some quests that we need to claim here real quick. We got a mob soul. And that gives us a redstone upgrade from functional storage. Okay, not as handy as I would like. Uh, but yes, now today we're going to be getting into crushing wheels from Create. Because we desperately need these in order to get uh, better materials. Just automatic materials. So we're going to be working on that today. But in order to get like make one of those, we need um, the mechanical crafters. So we need a total of seven electron tubes. Which means we need seven of these rose quartz. Which means we need seven nether quartz. Which we get from um washing soul sand and we get soul sand by yeah by washing this um or we can make it with uh sand a mob soul and water in a basin and a mechanical mixer so we are going to be making these right away and we should have most of the materials to go ahead and make those if i'm not mistaken Yep, so we have the, the base in there, good. And then the mechanical mixer uh, is a cogwheel, andesite casing, and a whisk, which we made the quest last episode to go get string um, so that we could craft this. So we need one string, two iron, and two sticks. And we can make the engineer's hammer from immersive engineering. Bam, and that will let us flatten um, some of these iron ingots boom so that we can make them into that and now we should be able to make the whisk here awesome and we just need the anti casing the cogwheel and here is our mixer so yeah let's put this back let's put this back perfect and we've put this in there so we have this um i forgot to save the recipe for this so we wash the soul sand and the way we get soul sand and the other cool thing about REI is that you can actually put the recipe here. So yeah, that's really handy. Where'd that mob soul go? There we go, we got a couple of them here. We just need one um, and then we'll create a fan and we will use that to wash some soul sand. So we just need one and then we'll be good. Um, so sand, mob soul and water. So we do have the water source taken care of here. Um, do we have any sand? We do have some sand and we have the mob soul. So let's go ahead and set this up in our create room. All right, I just got a loot bee from down here and they're drop, the loot bee's dropping us some pretty good items. We got another chance cube, we got a battery. Uh, we got an egg, we desperately need the egg. Amazing, another egg. Very cool, Ooh, another upgrade. And what else are you gonna give us? Ooh, another chance cube. Okay, you still want to give us more? You do. Flowers. Now it comes down here and gives us a chance cube. Cool. So we got three chance cubes, an emerald, uh, looks like copper, and some eggs. Very good. The eggs are, believe it or not, very, very handy. So I've just been setting up the system over here. Uh, and we just, oops, not like that. We just need a cogwheel like this. And I believe, um, can we put this upside down? We can. Okay, so the mixer is working here. So let's put the water in. Uh, my sand I put away, uh, along with the mob soul. Don't make out the couple mob souls. Cool. So what is? It's just one, one, and quarter bucket. So one, one, and now it mixes. Very good. And now we have ourselves some soul sand. Very good. Very handy. All right, we got a repair talisman. What is this used for? Slot belt repairs nearby players items. Restores one durability every one second. What? That's amazing. It's restoring our paxels. Wow, that's really handy. Goes on the belt, okay. So this will continue to restore our tools. Or just items, anything that takes durability. I mean, that takes power, but wow, that's awesome. So yeah, that's really handy. Let's go into the fan next. We don't need this anymore, so we can dispose of it down here. 
All right, the encased fan is our next objective. So we do need to get one more of the andesite casings, which is pretty simple to make in this pack, as long as you have trees. And I think I've used all of them, which is okay. We will just mine. Perfect. All right, so then we come here like this and we just strip the wood. And then, oh, we grab too many of these, that's okay. That's fine. All right, they're all good. Beautiful. So we'll put this in here, this in here. Uh, we're going to be utilizing this. <clears throat> oh, the wood was in here. Ah, I made a mistake. That's okay. If my voice sounds a little weird, it is my morning voice. And I do apologize for that. Uh, but now we make the shaft good. Let's get some of these. Let's get some of this. Let's get some of these. We'll smush these. That's way more than we need, but that's okay. Propeller. Booyah. Encased fan. Booyah. All right, now we've got one of these guys. So what that means is we actually need to move it. Uh, where are we gonna put this guy? I think we should put this guy here. Yes, we will put this guy here. All right, and then we're gonna steal this. Again, another thing we're gonna do today is make automatic create things. So don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Got this guy, we need this guy here. Okay, if we just shift click, it will do the deed. And then we go like so, place the soul sand. And then we need one iron and one flint. Do I have any flint yet? I may not have any flint. That is okay. We have a flint. Gravel. Oop, not this guy. This guy here. All right, so now, as long as we, what do we have to wash again? Soul sand, so we need to keep making soul sand. Which we get by washing our spookifying sand sand. So we put this here, put this here, and then we shift click, and this will spookify the sand. Perfect, the sand has been spookified. And then I'm pretty sure we take the sand here and we wash it with a fan. What happens if you spookify it? Oh, you get scoria, that's cool. Can you crush this? You cannot, so we have to wash it. That is perfectly okay. So we're gonna have to make another encased fan. We have all of the materials to actually do that except two iron, which is okay. We do this, booyah. One more encased fan. Like so, perfect, all right. And then we're gonna need maybe a couple pressure plates. Um, there we go, we'll just have three total. And then we need one of these, perfect. All righty, and so now we can make our, in our secondary encased fan. Um, right here, nope. You don't shift click right here. And then we should be able to just put this here. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take one more cobblestone. That's andesite. One more cobblestone. We'll put it right here and then we'll take the pressure plates Put them here and then the water goes here and so then we take our spooky sand and we toss it there and now we can wash it and get ourselves some quartz we just need a total of seven quartz and we'll be good we also need to get some uh redstone as well but that's been washed we only got glowstone oh man we got to make it a lot more so i need to start uh smashing up some sand so that we can start washing it Okay, so I just got done washing a bunch of soul sand. Uh, it's made really simple if you just compact all of your cobblestone and then hammer it, compact all the gravel, hammer it, compact all the dirt, hammer it, and then you get a bunch of sand. So I just put it over there and we're good. So now we're just going to do this. I think it was two stacks of double compact cobble. So yeah, we had a, we, we processed a lot. So I'll keep doing this for a while and I'll be right back.
All right, so 18 stacks of soul sand has been processed, and we got huh, just under two stacks of quartz. I mean, it's way more than we need, which is okay, but uh, yeah, not not the best. All right, so what we're gonna do is we need the seven quartz in there. We'll put the rest of it in here with this stuff, and we need to see about getting some redstone. Um, Redstone right here, and this is from washing dust. Okay, so I need to process up a lot more, and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I was talking about earlier. So you can compact the, or compress, sorry, the cobblestone like so, uh, and then you can do it again, and you can really like lower the amount of uh, durability taken out on your tool. So that's really good. Um, yeah, so we go like this. Right, and then you just vein mine this guy. And look at that, you already have a bunch of gravel. And then you just compact this stuff again, like so, R for recipe, and then it all goes in here. So yeah, super, oh wait, hang on. Well, we can just mine this, that goes into dirt, but we need to compress this one more time. Yes, there we go. All right, there we go. You just mine it. Booyah, and then now we're at dirt, and we go to one times compressed. All right, there we go, and then we do it again, booyah. And yeah, I believe this can even go up one more tier of compact, might even be able to do more. Uh, yeah, now we're at sand, and that's how we got a bunch of sand super quickly. And then we take the sand and we do the exact same thing. Right, there we go. All right, and there's all of the dust. And we actually didn't make dust before. So now we get to wash this. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these all in before the washer, um, like so. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and wash these guys. All right, and all of our dust has now been washed. We got quite a bit of redstone, so that worked out really good. We even got some king slime crystals, surface quartz, sky stone dust, but what we were going after was the redstone. Perfect. All right, so now if we take a look at this guy, yep, we can go ahead and create seven of these. Beautiful. So what we need is some sand and some paper. Um, I don't believe we have any sugar cane yet, so that means we have to make some dust, or sorry, some dirt, and then we are going to compact it. Um, or we're going to crook it. Sorry, these words are hard. All right, and there we go. We got some gravel, and then all we gotta do is just do this again. All right, and then into dirt. Very good. Now we need a lot of cobblestone crooks. Not really a whole lot, but you know, just a few. We'll make a total of four. And let's see here. So we can compact it, but can... No, you cannot. Okay. Um, so we got to place all of this down manually. Or we could make a wand, but I really don't want to. We'll make one with iron. Okay, so we have, ooh, we're gonna mine one of our own iron, that's okay. Oh, we weren't supposed to do that, we were supposed to crook it, whoops, crook it, right. Wait, were we supposed to crook that to get it? Now I'm confused. Oh, we're supposed to, okay, we're supposed to crook sand, I feel so silly, my bad. Okay, so we crooked the sand here, I'll just show you guys, it's pretty simple, just normal crook. And we got uh, 22 sugar cane. So what that means is that we can keep one and then we combine these together to get sandpaper. Perfect. And we go like this. And then Create has this cool thing where you just hold these two items down.
Perfect. So we now have the seven rose quartz or polished rose quartz. So that's really good. And so we get that out of our inventory. Perfect. Or out of our offhand. Amazing. So now we can go ahead and put all these back in here. We just need these guys. Um, and then we're going to take the engineer's hammer. Need seven. Boom. Boom, okay, so we have the seven electron tubes, and then we need some brass casing here. And to make brass, let's see, we need a heated mixing. Hmm. We need to make one of those. Is that the only way to make brass? No, that is not. We can go ahead and just make a uh, alloy kiln from Immersive Engineering. Uh, we just need some sandstone and some bricks. And the great thing is, is that we already have a lot of this stuff. Can we just do this? We can. Okay. So you get smelted up. Perfect. And then and now we need some normal sand. I think we might need to craft up a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, so we we just need two more of those. Um, or two more crafts. Okay, so now we have a bit more sand. So we make some more sandstone. One, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, alloy kiln. This is really what we needed. Um, so I'll put these over here, and I believe it's zinc and something in this pack. Perfect, and then engineer's hammer, we click it, booyah. So now we can make the alloy in here, which is so much easier than going and trying to find a blaze. Oh man, okay. So brass ingot, we mix, yeah, zinc and copper. Okay, so copper I don't believe is something we have a whole lot of. Um, we have one copper ingot, two copper ingot, and that's probably it. Okay, and we get copper by washing sand. Um, so I need to turn this back into normal sand. Yeah, you can crush it. Oh boy. All right, so we got a bunch of sand processed up here. So what we're gonna do now is wash it. Oops, that's windows. Oops, that's sandstone. I don't know if you can wash sandstone. Okay, we're too close. Okay, and now we're gonna wash it. So I'll be back in a bit once this is all done. Okay, so that's all finished processing up here. Yep, we got the washing part. We even got a bunch of clay with that too, which is really cool. Uh, so now we have copper and gold. Amazing, very happy to have those. Uh, and so then after this, I believe that we are gonna wash, or we're gonna fire up our zinc. Yep, and we'll be good. All right, so our zinc and our copper are ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in here and then throw that, and this will go ahead and give us some brass. So we don't have to go to the nether or anything like that and go get a blaze. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but this is a much easier process than doing that. So yep, there we go. Here's our brass that we need to make the brass casing. So it's pretty much the same as the um, andesite casings. I need to find out there's the wood. All right, we need probably seven of these. Yep, and so then we'll strip all of these and we can start applying the brass to them. Very cool. Should have a couple more. Yes. And then finally, yes, the final one. All right, so we got seven of these, seven of those, and we just need seven crafting tables. All right, so now we should be able to make the mechanical crafters, all 21 of them. All right, let's go ahead and claim the quests here. We got a vile sword. That's pretty cool. That did might do some damage. All right, washing. Copper upgrade, that's good. And we get some more dust, very good. Okay, oh wait, we have more. We made a wand. Experience obelisk. Ooh. We can store all of our levels in there. Very cool, I like that. That's a very helpful thing to have. I want one of these temporal pouches. Come on, you can give me a temporal pouch. Fluid transposer, okay. Mechanical crafter. Ooh, we got a crafter tier two. Immersive engineering, we got the hammer. The engineer's manual, and we got 
I don't know what we got from that. That was kind of odd. All right, Alloy Kiln. Chanted book with Silk Touch on it. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, Industrial Four going. We got the Fluid Transposer, and that gave us Steel Casing. And then from Power, we got Batteries, and that gives us a Field Projector. And then that is it for Quests. Okay, so we got some pretty good loot in all of that, so that was very good. The steel casings are going to come in handy so much. Okay, so now we need to line these guys up. So we will be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So these are all good to go. We also need to make a wrench this guy here so we can kind of align those so all we need to do is smash up some of the gold that we got or yeah one two three and then where is our engineer's hammer oh it's in our inventory very good all right there we go and we just need a cog and a stick it looks like yep cog and a stick perfect so the wrench there we go, and that is a quest, so we will check that out. We got Terra Steel. Oh wow, that is uh, very very useful. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we even got. Do we have a living wood twig? I, sometimes I get our, our worlds blended together, like the streaming world and this world. I keep thinking they're one and the same or something like that. But I don't know if we got one of those or not. But yes, now we have the wrench, so we can. Um, actually, we need to replace all of these, starting from the top down. Oh, these are all gonna be like that, okay. Not here. There we go. So, oh wait, nope, this isn't configured right. There we go, now it is configured right. Uh, I doubt we'll be able to turn this by hand. Um, we can always try. I very highly doubt we'll be able to. And that's totally okay. Okay, so we can place this guy here. We will steal this guy. Yeah, way too overstressed. Okay, so the next thing, oh, here's a stick, we got it. The next thing we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna make some water mills. All right, actually, mix, I actually misspoke. We're gonna make some water wheels, not water mills. Uh, that's totally okay, and just a simple error, but let's go ahead and make some more of these guys. We're gonna need a lot of wood, so we're probably gonna utilize the remainder of this. Have to make a stack. We'll make 32 of these. And then we'll make 32 of these. And then you put these into slabs. And then you wrap these around. Okay, so those are the water wheels. We definitely need to make more. Uh, so I need to grow some trees here real quick and mine them up. All right, so I have a, quite a bit more wood here that we can go ahead and turn into planks. And then that we're gonna, just gonna make another, we'll have a couple of these guys. Very good, we'll have 13 of them going. Um, so we need to get lots of water and we'll make another bucket here for this. Perfect. Okay, and then we're also gonna need quite a bit of cobblestone. Like so. And then we have a compact hammer here. Beautiful. Okay, so where are we gonna put these water wheels? Um, I think, well, I need to make another tool. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mine this out here. Like so. That's good, okay. And then we need some torches for in here. We'll do this one, and so let's see what way we need to place it. That way will work. Okay, so the water needs to flow that way. Okay. 
Okay, so now we can take the water from here, make some infinite water sources. Very good, I'm gonna place these here. Very good, okay. And so those are all flowing that away. So we're gonna place a block here like so. And then we will place these here. All right, so those are all going. And that's making it really difficult to place. I'm just gonna mine this block out here real quick. Okay, so I know it's a little dark for you guys, but I'm gonna place these like so. That is really annoying me. Okay. So we could use bubble columns on the back to make this even more effective. Um, there we go. Let's get out of here. And then we do slash home because we did slash set home. And now this should mean that we have, yep, right there. Perfect. So we take, <clears throat> let's see, can these guys do that? We're probably gonna need a gearbox, which is okay. We can make a gearbox here real quick. Those are pretty simple. Um, we just need one of you guys. And this needs to be stripped. And then, yeah, the sword alloy. Oyan the sword. And then we combine, well. We combine these guys together. Perfect, gearbox. All right, that's placed and then the gearbox is going and there we go. So this guy is fully operational and then we can always, you know, run some kind of shaft over here. Uh, and then we can run it up or something along the lines of that. But yeah, now this guy's working. So let's make ourselves some of those wheels. Um, so we need four of these guys. Booyah. We need a couple of wood. And then we need a lot of these. Okay. So we place this in the middle. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that's crafting. Again, it's not super fast, but that's okay. And then they should combine together in the middle. And then do his little swirly guy. And boop. There we go. Got ourselves some crushing wheels. Very cool. So we got the water wheel. Ooh, we got a range add-on. And then we got the crushing wheels. Got a redstone upgrade, very cool. So these guys are awesome. And we can probably just place them right here. This is slowly turning into the create room and it used to be the tinker room, but we might extend it over there and make some tinkers tools in a future episode. I think that might be a good idea. But yeah, now we have these guys. So I think we should set them up. I think that'd be the best option for us. And do we have any more wood? I do have another andesite casing. But I did accidentally use all of the wood. So that's a bummer. All right. And it looks like we'll need two more. All right, so now we're 
gonna kind of run this up and over um that's odd that didn't go through oh because it's not the closest one so we're gonna take this we're gonna place this this way and then a normal gearbox we're gonna place it this way right and then so that means we want a gearbox here like so and that should be spinning that will be spinning in the opposite direction of which we want it to that's okay we can go like this don't worry guys we will definitely make this a lot better so that's spinning in the correct direction <laughs> oh geez we need even more there's so many it's literally just all of these gearboxes the whole way over So then we can break this guy. We need it here. Okay, so I believe all we need now is one more. Do we have another andesite? We have one more andesite casing, which is really good. Okay. All right. And this should mean that it's not spinning the right way. Okay, so we do need one more frick. All right, and in a really bizarre way, we have done it. <laughs> it looks terrible, but who cares? Wait, I think. I don't even think we need these guys actually. I think I just wasted a bunch of time. Okay, so if we do this. Yeah, there we go. Now they're doing the right thing. Okay, so yeah, we have the crushing wheels going. We have the mechanical crafter. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Create in Stone Block 3 with your buddy Super Turtle. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all tomorrow for all the mods 8. You guys have yourselves a fantastic one. I'll see you later. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.